Who is Jason Febres? I am the ultimate Latin fusion experience. First steps cooking, I was probably 13, cooking at home, uh, making a big mess, uh, burning stuff, and yeah, big, it was not the best scenario. The only thing I'm gonna bother you for is to pick a couple of you here and there to help me plate a couple things, maybe prepare the black bean hummus, you know, and, and have something to do with the food tonight. It's a lot of fun. My mom, big influence in me learning how to cook and, and putting all this together. So every time I refer us where I was being trained, I always put like culinary schools plus my mom. That's what I always have to say. If not, she'll kill me if I don't give her credit, you know. I work in French restaurants, Italian restaurants, Japanese restaurants, Vietnamese restaurants, Spanish cuisine. So I pretty much saw a little bit of everything and I blended with what I like to do. Finish it again with some of those fried plantains. Cooking and entertaining, cooking and talking to people, getting to know your customers. As you can see, my kitchen is totally open, so I'm in, I'm in direct contact with the customer. If you're good with people, it doesn't matter if you cook that good or you know or so-so, but if you're very good with people, somehow they're gonna like your food. But that doesn't mean I'm not a good chef. I cook very good, by the way. cooking I I feel passionate about the plate I need to make it look that so so pretty that you don't want to cut it that's what I hear a lot from my guests from my customers from my friends they don't want to touch the plate when it gets to their tables and I think that's quite a funny um, they see how I'm making it they see the time that I put into it and then they get the plate they don't want to touch it it is like a like a trance it is like a, that moment that you don't hear anything and it's just that the, the sounds of the skillet all the movement and then you have to stop by for a second and play it and decorate everything. When they're in the moment doing something, there's nothing else happening. It's you, the dish, and, and your creativity going on. And then when you get out of there, then you give it to them. And they, wow, they're like, wow. You know, like what happened there? Oh my God, they're good. I know, they're so good. You're just sitting there and you're enjoying what you're eating. You're enjoying the music. So it's just like it's stimulating all your senses. It's almost like you can say, it's almost like saying sex. If you're selling food the right way, it's so easy. That heat gives a little marination. It looks like you're selling sex. It sells like anything else. So I could tell that's one of the biggest industries too, besides sex. S uh, food sells, sex sells, but food in the right way, it sells a lot. I have to say, if you know how to mix it. A restaurant can only offer so much, even having an open kitchen, you know. Uh, there's only so much you can offer as a restaurant. Everybody, since they're paying for my food and for my time, they should get a piece of me and that doesn't happen very often.